Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. I'm going to go through some of the questions that I get most frequently when I'm doing tech support. Uh, I'm going to start in no particular order. Uh, this first thing we'll do is we'll go to the Windows Store app. So if you've downloaded Tablet Pro and you're kind of confused and you're not really sure what to do next, uh, you're going to want to go to the web page. So if you go to Tablet Pro Portal, and in the future this should be streamlined, so it'll just bring you directly to Tablet Pro. If you haven't gotten the down, download for the desktop app, which is needed, there's two parts to Tablet Pro. The Windows Store app, which edits, and the desktop app, which is the engine. So you're going to click here, download now, free trial, put in your information here, and you'll get a link. Uh, you'll get an email with a link in it and download instructions. It may end up in your spam or your promotions folder, so you may want to check in both of those spots. The second question that people ask most often is they're editing a new layout. Uh, typically is an artist pad medium or large. So they, they're working on it, they make some custom things, they save it, and then they say, uh, what do I do next? All right, so next, what you would do is you would go over here, you'd right click on the icon, and this is gonna be here, if you've downloaded and installed the desktop software, you'll have the icon there, or you'll have it up here in the um, sys tray. I think that's what that's called. All right, so you're gonna right click there, you're gonna choose uh, artist pad if you just wanna show it uh, what's currently loaded, but you do have to change what's loaded. Uh, we do hope to make this simpler in the future, but for right now, the way to handle this, go over here, click on the artist pad icon, which is that brush with a circle stroke around it, and you're going to choose load preset. You'll find uh, the one that you created. You should try and find that one and then load that up. Uh, we do have a list of or these presets already available. If you don't have one, I recommend building on one that we have already built. Uh, when people get in trouble here or they have a hard time understanding what's going on, layout of artist pad, if this is set to large and you just worked on creating a medium one and you started it from default, you're going to notice that it's going to show the large one, which for most people is not the one that they're trying to do. It'll look uh, this size, not this one, but this size instead of the size that they made. So if you're editing an artist pad and you're not really sure uh, why it's not displaying correctly, the number one thing, the first thing I'd recommend trying is looking here in artist pad settings and check to see that the size set to display is the size that you worked at and make sure that you click apply. All right, the next question that I get is, is how do I upgrade? I purchased the app, but I haven't seen it activated. So let's go back to the Windows Store app. You're gonna go here to activate and you select the one that fits your needs best. Uh, of course, I recommend the full package as it's the best value. All right, so let's go back and let's go to, let's go ahead and close out of here and let's do this right from the beginning. You can right click here and yours will say about instead of upgrade. So you're gonna choose upgrade That'll bring you to this screen. Details should say upgrade at that point, and you're gonna click, let's go ahead and undo this. You're gonna click activate upgrade, and then by store app. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna look at the store app, and it's gonna say, all right, uh, did you purchase it? If it sees it right here, you can go ahead and close that. And then just close this window. You'll notice right over here, Right there, it's going to go from not activated to activated. It'll have done that in the background. That process tends to uh, get stuck a little bit. All right, so that's how you upgrade. If you're looking at how to display the artist pad I mentioned before, you can just right click here and choose artist pad, and that'll show it on the side. Uh, alternately, if you have the quick panel enabled, you can swipe down from top here. Uh, this is often over here when it first shows up. 
I like to move it directly underneath the uh, camera because I find that's the easiest place to remember that it is. All right, so to turn on the quick panel, you just click right there. All right, another question that I get often is how do I get the uh, Alt key or the Control keys to uh, work correctly? Uh, switching layouts, by the way, if you're trying to do that quickly, if you use the hamburger menu, which is that three horizontal lines, and you choose layout, there's a there's a list of your most recently used um, presets or layouts. So then you can just choose it from there. I'm going to choose edit. Now we've made some changes recently that have allowed uh, the alt control shift key space bar and a couple different things to work a lot better. It's plus one second. So what you need to do if you're creating this, by default, the regular control shift alt are going to function the same way that the uh, the other keys function, which is it's going to press down and up very quickly. But that doesn't leave you time in order to press the pen or use the pen at the same time. So modifier keys we found out recently need to be done a little bit differently. Um, in order to do that, you're going to select blank, which is right here at the, that's technically the bottom. You select blank, and then you're going to add alt and plus one second. And then you can change the name however you want. Uh, when you load that back up, and you need to make sure that you're using the newest version, which is 2040, 2.0.40, uh, and that will allow you to do that. Now, if you want a key to toggle, like a shift key to toggle, you can go into settings and disable toggle control at shift. Just make sure that's not connected or not uh, checked. If you are working on trying to get the artist pad to work simultaneously with the pen, uh, if you're using an older version of Windows, not the anniversary update, you're going to want to toggle on the top one for uh, Ntrig uh, tablets like the Surface Pro models uh, after, well, Surface Pro 3 or 4, and Surface Pro 2 or Wacom devices, you're going to check that bottom box. Uh, these are not perfect, but they do work on uh, Ntrig and Wacom tablets. If you want to use it just interchangeably, so you pull the pen tip up, you can tap most tablets that use a pen and touch will allow you to do that. So you can right click here, choose settings, or you can swipe in from the side and choose settings. Uh, you're going to go to devices and go to pen and Windows Ink. So if you're using a insider preview of the anniversary update, you're going to notice that there's a couple different settings here in pen and ink. If you have ignore touch input when I'm using my pen on, then the artist pad won't work at all. Uh, right hand and left hand modes, uh, I keep mine at right hand because I'm right handed. In the past, it used to matter and it used to affect how Tablet Pro worked. Uh, certain things would work better on left, and other things would work better on right. Uh, now it doesn't seem to matter, and it's working uh, very nicely. All right, the next thing uh, people ask is, how do I get my pen button to open artist pads? This one is a little complicated, so bear with me, and this will be the last of the uh, questions in this video. So you're going to choose Launch a Classic App. And then uh, you're going to choose, what we're going to do is we're going to create a shortcut, and you're going to choose that shortcut. So uh, here, you notice I tap, and I have a preset load. I double tap, and I have a different preset load. And I press and hold, and I switch to the full screen mode. I love this functionality. Uh, I've played also with the idea of having it natively switch uh, between programs and it's it's fast and funky and and if I'm switching between windows uh, with the docking on the side it kind of gets messy and spazzy and and I like this interaction that doesn't mean we're not going to work on that feature in the future but uh, for now all right so let's see I've tried to do this a bunch of different ways and the way that seems to be the fastest and the easiest to understand is uh, opening up Community Assets, that folder that you have available. Um, you're going to go into that folder. And 
and I have a number of them right here. Uh, you're going to see these shortcuts. These shortcuts can be made and placed on your desktop. So you right click, choose new shortcut, uh, specify the path as the desktop. So you're going to choose desktop, click OK. Next, you name it whatever you want. And then you're going to right click on this and in properties, you're going to put a string of information into target. Now I have already done that with these right here. So if you look right here, you can see this path. Most of that's hidden because it's a very long path. So in order to show you what that looks like, that entire path is right here. It's quotations around the path to the touchmousepointer.exe, which is the Tablet Pro engine. And there's, again, there's quotations on both sides. And then there's instructions. And then there's basically an address to the file that we're using in order to open up a specific one. If you don't want to open a specific one, just whatever one has been loaded, uh, that's currently loaded in the background, you can skip this. You can skip that whole piece right there. So you're going to do path to the exe in quotations, space, forward slash show. That can also be switched to hide if you want something to hide. Forward slash artist pad. If you don't want to specify the size, just leave that blank and that's good. You can also specify full screen, uh, artist pad, dash, medium, dash, small, or dash, large. And that will control that functionality. Uh, and then it's to specify which one opens, you go slash layout. And I recommend putting these in the touch mouse pointer file um, or folder so that if you're moving it around, it's, it's just easier to keep them all in the same place. And you specify the path here. This does not have to be in quotations. And uh, that will allow you to uh, click on one of these links. So if I, if I double click here, that's going to open the large artist pad. Double click here, it's going to open the medium. It's going to open full screen mode. Um, this will open the Krita, and I have that set to medium. Oops, did something here. All right, and if I double click here, that's gonna open my Photoshop one. Very, very useful. Uh, I really like these, uh, and I recommend doing it that way. Uh, if you don't have access to community assets, it's in that welcome folder, or that welcome email that you got from me, as well as in a lot of the emails that I send out, I'll put a link to it. Uh, but that's how you do that. If you guys don't have access to Tablet Pro yet, go to www.tabletpro.net and subscribe, and I'll send you a email with a download link and instructions, as well as uh, the link to the community assets. Uh, be aware that that may show up in your spam folder or in your promotions folder, so if you're having a hard time finding that email, you may try looking in those places. All right, until next time, stay creative.